Hi, hello everybody. Welcome to the Yes And Anywhere screen share visual art lesson. My name is Jenny and I'm so glad you're here. This week we are camping and we are in nature and last time we made uh, some identification devices as we started to explore and it turns out that there are thousands, millions, billions, trillions of plant species we have not even discovered yet. And so what I thought we could do today was make some flowers, some exotic flowers that we've never seen before. I have heard of one that is called the sunset flower that only blooms at sunset and looks just like one. It's very cool. I'm very interested. I'm going to replicate it. I can't wait. So what we're going to do is use coffee filters to make these flowers. So what you'll need for this activity, um, the first part, it's kind of a two-parter. The first part, you'll need coffee filters and markers, as well as some water and a brush. And you're going to be coloring onto the coffee filter and then using the brush to wet all of the markers so that it kind of does this tie-dye kind of look where all the marker color bleeds around. And it's, it's beautiful. But it gets a little messy. So what you're going to need as well is a scrap piece of paper or something to put under the coffee filters because when you are coloring it, and the color goes right through. And you'll also need, like I have a cookie sheet. Um, so when I put the water onto the coffee filter, it um, doesn't get everywhere. And then I can just wash this pan and blah, blah, blah. Yes? Good? Yes? Once you've put the water on them, you will have to let them dry. That will take some patience. You will have to let them dry completely, but then I'll show you the last step, okay? Great. In the second part, once your coffee filters have dried, you will need scissors and tape, and you might need something to be the stem. I don't know if this flower you're planting grows on a stem or not. Um, or maybe you want to make a crown or an, a lay, like a necklace, or a corsage, a boutonniere, your choice, your choice. What you should do is think of a flower, and it's a flower that's unlike anything on earth. It is maybe a combination of flowers that you already know, maybe it's a whole new one that you wish existed, maybe it's not exactly a flower, maybe it's a collection of leaves, that's also something, maybe it's more of a garland. Hmm? So let's get started. So first thing you're going to do is just take a couple coffee filters and you're going to flatten them out. I'm gonna smoosh them down, okay? So I have, I have three coffee filters and this uh, three coffee filters are gonna make one flower. We're gonna layer them together and kind of smoosh them together, okay? So one at a time, smushed it out, flat enough, it doesn't have to be perfectly flat. Then I'm gonna take my markers and because these markers are washable, when we put water on them, they'll kind of spread out like watercolor. If you'd like to use watercolor to do this, you can do that too. That also works. Um, the markers, the markers give you like a little bit more control when you're drawing and coloring. Um, but if you want to use watercolor, you do that. You do you. I trust your artist's eye to make something beautiful. Okay, so I'm gonna do a sunset flower. And so I'm going to just color onto my coffee filter and keep in mind that I'm gonna layer on more coffee filters when we get to that step. So I'm gonna have a bunch of petals. And so these will make all those layers of petals, okay? So remember, they're gonna get kind of smooshed together. you can see I'm not pressing very hard on my coffee filter but it still is bleeding through and so that's why I put the scrap paper down. Okay. So 
So I, I've done one. I'm gonna just show you how to go on to the next step. So I'm gonna put it into this pan so that when I put the water on it, when it bleeds, it won't just get soaked into my scrap paper. It'll stay on this coffee filter like I want it to. So I'm just gonna, this is just clean water. I'm gonna take a big old brush I'm just gonna kind of dab. So what's gonna happen is the color of the markers is gonna start to bleed and so it'll start moving around on the coffee filter and then we get this cool, it's kind of like tie-dye. You don't need too much water. The coffee filter kind of does it itself. So don't get too crazy because then you're going to end up having to wait longer and longer. Ugh. So I've covered, covered my coffee filter in water, you can kind of see, and so I'll just show you, so if you have, see it kind of bleeds, right, and so next what you want to do is find a place that you can let this sit and dry, that's very important, they have to dry completely. And so what I'm going to do is find a place for this to dry, go on to my next ones. If you want to do them all at once, you can totally do that. I'm just showing you the steps. Um, if you have like a little spray bottle of water, you can also just spritz instead of using the brush if you'd like to do that too. Um, let's keep moving. I'm not really using the brush to like move the marker around. I'm more just kind of wetting the the marker so that it does its own thing and kind of moves. And the water just kind of lifts it up and takes it. So it does move a little bit when I, I brush it. You want to try to move it around a little, little bit. Alrighty. So my coffee filters are bone dry, completely dried. Okay, your next step is you're gonna take one, one of your coffee filters, you're gonna fold it in half, make yourself a little taco, and then you're gonna fold it in half again, then you're gonna fold it in half again, and then you're gonna fold it in half again, 
and smush it so it's nice and flat. And then what you're gonna do is just cut right here at the top a little pattern that you want. Um, it doesn't have to be too much because when we open this, it'll have a bunch of petals. So I'll cut this real fast so that you can see what I'm talking about. If you want to even do it, maybe you, you maybe your your flower has a straight edge. I just did a little whoop, whoop, whoop. And then when I open it, the big reveal. Wow! Okay, so now what you can do is fold your other ones same way. And if you want to cut the same sort of shape, you totally can do that. Or if you want to do a different one, go right ahead. I am definitely going to switch it up a bit and see what cool things I can make. And if it's too hard to cut when it's folded super tiny, you can go ahead and cut it like this too. So once you have cut all of your petal shapes or whatchamacallits, what you're gonna do is stack them, stack the coffee filters in the order that you want them. And what you're gonna do is once you have them in whatever order you want, you're gonna pinch the centers of them. So it might be easiest to hold your finger in the middle and sort of pinch around them. And you're gonna kinda twist so that they're all together. And then you can tape this. And take just medium piece of tape, doesn't have to be that big. And where you've pinched your flower, you're just gonna tape around that so that it stays. So you pinched and twisted it ever so slightly. Just wrap that tape around, and then you have a flower. You can kind of open it up a little bit, spread it out, so you can see all those gorgeous layers that you made to make all those petals. So this is the sunset flower. It only blooms at sunset, and it mimics what a sunset looks like. So that's the night coming in, that's the night bleeding in, and this is the sun going away. What kind of flower did you make? I would love to see. You can make more and then I have a bouquet. All right, everybody. Great job today. Sparkle you, sparkle me. I would love to see what flowers you create. I'm sure they are gorgeous. Um, until next time, goodbye.